So men using N-clomiphene, we have data to support that it increases your testosterone levels anywhere from 150 to 200 points at least. And the beautiful thing about it is it doesn't raise your estrogen levels the same way clomiphene does. Because it's cleaner and it doesn't necessarily act as a weak estrogen, it could stabilize or it keeps your estrogen levels at a stable level versus clomiphene, which can increase your estrogen levels. And by doing so, it competes with the testosterone at the receptor. So you may not necessarily feel the impact of a higher testosterone level with the clomiphene, but you will when you're on N-clomiphene. And that's the reason why guys are asking for it more these days, because it can help support a higher testosterone levels without the negative effects of the estrogen at the receptor level. We usually say anywhere from 12 and a half milligrams to 25 milligrams either every other day or on a daily basis. I myself, I prefer to give it at 25 milligrams every other day. The reason being behind this is when you're taking it every day, you don't necessarily develop a sensitivity to it or you won't develop a sensitivity. It decreases the chances of it. If you take it daily, there's a chance that the receptors get sensitized to this and you won't necessarily feel the impact of it the same way you would if you did it on an every other day basis. So 25 milligrams every other day is generally what I recommend. We always wanna make sure you're responding well to it. Number one, symptomatically. Number two, from a blood level standpoint. We always wanna make sure your testosterone levels look good. We wanna make sure your estrogen levels are responding as well. We wanna make sure your follicle stimulating hormone, your luteinizing hormone, your prolactin levels, all of these are normal. All of these are re responding well to the N-clomiphene just to make sure there's no other changes that we have to make.